Well, greetings everyone. I kind of made a mistake earlier today when I was recording the uh, exploration career. I forgot to take it off the introduction page, which is this. We'll be starting soon. This is Kankles. I'm with Two Penguins Gaming. I want to remind you though, you can always watch me when I'm streaming live, on not only on Twitch, but also on Facebook Gaming at TPG Kankles. Just enter that in the Facebook search at TPG Kankles and when you do and you come across that page please like it um, also you could check me out on Twitter at penguins underscore two it's at penguins underscore two so like I was saying today we are going to get on the career missions I'm going to do it in one setting hopefully and it's exploration careers now I'm already I hate created another tune in order to do this because like I said the first tune messed up and what we got is we're going to start off and show you the way I do it and we'll go from there all right so here we are Galante because Galante is the master race a little jab to the rest of you out there but anyways you can do it with any all races all factions whatever you want to call them uh, that's my ship right there in the background, Dominic from my Latoon. Anyways, all factions, they have the career missions where it's business career, military career, advanced military career, exploration career, and industrial career. Now, earlier today, I'm glad I kind of had to redo it because there is a mess up and there's glitching out in the exploration system for some reason. Again, over here, I am Kankles. I'm with Two Penguins Gaming. And let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, introductions first. And she's not learning any skills because she's a second to now on my first account. And this is Advisor Asine Padin. So this is your advisor today. All right, let's get on with it. Advisor, and we're going to talk to Paralat Mumir. <sighs> okay, so. Cosmic Anomalies 1 of 5. For you, my friend, there's always something. Welcome, Advisor Izine Potting. Let's see if we can make an explorer out of you. Once you've, once you've undocked into space, um, enable your sensor overlay and look around for a location named Anomaly Training Site. Anomaly Training Site. This is the Cosmic Anomaly, which means it's being easy to find warp to it and I'll give you further instructions once you made it there don't worry about com combat this time around we've cleared out the area for you Decom well you don't need to worry about that this is about declining missions cosmic anomaly 105 the following objectives must be completed and that is get a proof of discovery you'll get 98,000 hits plus 103,000 bonuses right on let's do it oh cosmic anomalies are commonly well guarded are commonly well guarded those who hide away their who hide away there in space facilities usually have a good reason for doing so and don't take kindly to trespassers capsulators or not okay so basically we're going to do what he said accept admission we're going to undock and when we get out there i want you to hit what you'll do is when you do it is hit alt p that's alt p and then i bring up uh, a couple things we need here Alt P. And right now, when we send probes, you're going to be using this map right here of the system. But right now, he said just look for a cosmic anomaly, and it's already anomaly training. There you go. We could just hit warp by clicking that button, or right click warp to zero. Either way, shape or form, however you want to do it, it's you fit. But you're going to see us. Where are we out here? I think we're right here. Yep. Watch our little ship go fly over there real quick. Well, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Boom. Anyways, we're going over there. We're going to pick this up and we're going to return and turn them in. Easy for the first one. So, exploration, it's good. You can make some serious money from what I understand, especially if you use it to hunt down gas sites and such. Let's expand this a little bit. Nope. Okay. You've done well, you're now inside a cosmic anomaly. Normally there would be hostile ships present, but our people have already cleared the area. All you need to do is now is recover the proof of discovery document we left there. 
You can find one of them in the nearby training container. You only need a single, a single document. It will serve as physical proof you have passed this stage of the tutorial. So make sure to recover at least one. Okay, we will. And you see over here on your overhead, there's going to be a training container. You can either hit approach and then later open it. You can hit open it and it'll go to it. Or you can right click and hit approach or open it. Let's right click and let's open cargo. And the ship should start going. We're going to give it a little afterburner and get it a little speed. And we're going to cut it. And I'm going to have a drink of coffee. But, um, yeah, exploration. They can hunt down gas sites where uh, it's reported you can make some good, serious money. It's going to take a little investment, though, unless you got somebody backing you because you got to get uh, gas harvesting equipment for your harvester, which they will give you. And there's our proof of discovery. Now you'll see your thing up here says stock. Because because you completed it, so let's stop. Drive active. Yeah. Normally, advisor uh, Zene Padin would be training, but as you see, she's a second character. Now we're going to go back and they're going to offer us a ship, which is kind of weird because it's not the correct ship. The correct ship comes later, and they're going to want us to go out and explore and see uh, what each of these sites look like that you can discover. I love the view of this game. It's absolutely amazing. Oops. Planets. Star Docking bases. permission requested. Docking request Ain't that accepted. Cool? That is so cool. Anyways, hashtag Eve is beautiful. So we go to Palawat. We double click them, open it up, hit complete. Yay! Then we hit request mission. Alright, so Padalat Mumlia <laughs> Division Exploration. An introduction to the cosmic signature 205. Your sensor overlay easily tracks cosmic anomalies. The other types of sites, collectively called cosmic signatures, will be much harder to find, and you'll usually need to boost your overlay by using scan probes. These cosmic signature sites contain various kinds of treasures, ancient ruins to sift among, secret data facilities to hack into, exotic gases to collect. There is a great deal out there for an explorer to uncover, and you need to understand how to uh, react to each type of site. Therefore, before we send you out off to do complicated scans, and potentially risk your ship in the ensuing discovery process, I'm sending you to a training facility where you'll discover safe examples of what you might find out there. Use the ship I'm giving you, follow the instructions you're given on site, and report to me after you've done it. Okay, objective, follow the instructions. You got to go to that specific site. Is there a ship restriction? There is. Let's see if our ship passes. You click it and it tells you, you may use your Bellator, which is kind of obvious because it's the only ship to give us. Granted items. When you start, you'll be given an Evitas. I want to show you something real quick. This is not a scanning ship. Okay? Look at the bonuses. Look at traits of a ship when you want to look for a scanning ship. This one has bonus remote armor repair, remote armor repair, roll bonus remote armor repair, remote armor repair. The ship you're going to end up wanting, let me pull it up for you real quick, which I do believe, I'm pretty sure, and I'm absolutely positive, they will give you one by the time all this exploration is over, but I want to cover it real quick. Go to ships, go to ship tree, hold it up, and it's going to be this Imicus right here. Notice the traits of the Imicus. 7.5% bonus to core and combat scanner probe strength, 5% reduction in solid visitor duration. 5% or 5 plus bonus to relic and data analyzer virus strength. So that'd be the ship you want. And don't go out and try to hunt things down these other ships. You can after you learn how to do it. But use the ships that give you the bonus, especially if you're going to be training. So let's accept this. And I don't know why they want us, but let's go ahead and get an Navitas. Let's. Usually I tell you buy insurance, but really we're going to use it once and pre -vetch. We'll use it to the end of the training, I believe. 
we'll find out. I don't know. So simple ship, but you're not in any danger here, guys. Uh, from what I understand, in the starter systems like this, that uh, and make active, so you're in it. There's not going to be no ganking going on because they can pretty much get banned. All right, so we're going to go out and we're going to follow his instructions. And they'll probably say warp to site, and we'll warp there, and we'll follow the instructions and get a look around. And I'll probably clear out the screen so we can see kind of what things look like. And there goes uh, uh, warp to location. Warp drive active. All right, so we're heading out to the location of the quest line. We're going to see some examples of exploration sites. We're going to see the data, the relic, and the gas site. I hope you get some use out of this. If you do, or if you're interested in finding out more about careers, I'm also going to be covering missions, uh, how to do the missions, and also tech. as well in the future so I hope you stick around I hope you'll hit like for the video for one comment if you would give me some constructive criticism on what I could do different um, also if there's anything you'd like to see let me know uh, other than that if you would hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you'll know when the other videos come out uh, I will be doing pertaining to missions in the future higher level missions as well as low level to help out uh, any new pilots come in We'll do it according to the instructions from Survival E website. All right, so we're here, and look, we got. I'm starting up that dude. Oh, this is Ruli. Okay, greetings, pilot, and good work finding your way here. My name is Ruli Misserin, and I work with the Sisters of Eve. Also, they're your Sisters of Eve. They have a uh, probe set, scanner probe, core probe. Um, and combat probes, I should say, uh, that give you significant bonuses along with their probe launchers. So if you get into this, you're going to want to look up Sisters of Eve. Uh, as an advisor for capsuleers and training, uh, although I'll be offering you advice as you go along, don't forget that you need to report back to your own agent. You just arrived in the uh, staging pocket of our training facility ahead of you, an acceleration gate. These powerful structures are able to Fleeing you, uh, fleeing your ship through thousands of kilometers forward and deeper inside. In order to operate them, you must be within 2,500 meters and then activate the gate. Head on through to the next pocket by using it. Again, uh, you'll see it right here, acceleration gate. If you left click it, it's highlighted. You'll see a little picture right there. You can hit this button or you can right click and hit approach or activate and we are within the range of 2500 so we can just activate it so i'm going to activate and let it go Warp drive active we're gonna get a look around this place before she starts talking to us i'm thinking it'll pop up out of the stuff closed let's see but i think this is a data site we're going to nope oh no i'm sorry this is just pickup my bad, we'll do it again in a moment. All right, that's all good work. You'll find acceleration gates like these in many sites you uncover. They will connect you to other pockets, often taking you deeper within the complex. You're now, you're now inside supply area. Before we show you the different types of sites, we'll provide you with the equipment you would normally need to find them. Over in the distance, there is a cargo rig named Exploration Supplies. Inside it, you'll find the two pieces of equipment, a core probe launcher, and, a, and eight core scanner probes. Take them both. I uh, want to say there's something else in there. So you can go highlight it, click it, and go to uh, open cargo. Or you can just highlight it, hold down the left key, move up to open cargo. There you go. Or highlight it and hit open cargo. Yep, they do. They got the civilian data uh, and civilian relic. Loot them all. And if you want to make sure they're in your cargo. Hit your cargo container right there. And they're right there. Right on. Oh. 
take the probe launcher as well as the civilian analyzer modules. Okay, that's what we picked up. Boy, I'm bad at a thousand. So we want to activate the gate. Left click, hold down, activate, or I like activate, activate it there. And now I'm going to shut up about that. <laughs> Remember, Twitter is uh, at penguins underscore two. Facebook gaming is at TPG Kankles. Visit me sometime, like this page. You're now inside what a data site might look like. Data signatures are found when your scanners detect an area with unnaturally high electronic interference. Electrical activity is a telltale sign of co uh, communications facilities data storage hubs, and other similar areas. An enterprise encapsulator like yourself can train in the art of hacking and bypass the security systems at the complexes to get at the valuable items and data hidden away underneath. There are many scientific and technological resources that can only be found this way, such as unique blueprints and decryptors. In order to infiltrate these systems, a encapsulator needs to train to use the data analyzer modules. When you're ready, head through to the next pocket with, which demonstrates how a relic site looks like. Okay, this is your data site. Let me clear the screen for you. Oops, I love that shit. And let's find the data site. Let me see. Uh, oh, there, wow. That's what a data site might look like. Let me see the satellite arrays and such. It's pretty cool. Um, lots of communications tower, battery, couplings, all kinds of crud. Lookout. And then the acceleration gate. So we've been doing it that way, so now let's just highlight it. Left click and hit the Q. You could also highlight and push D. And now we're going into Relic, I believe. So that's data. We're going into Relic. And when I filmed the other one that didn't work out, the gas site didn't have anything in it. So I hope the gas site will have something in it now. Scan probes can also find Relic signatures. These special signatures are found when your scanner probes detect an area with man-made structures, but little to no electronic activity or heat signatures. Typically, these sites represent ruins or abandoned areas. You are not just a starship captain with the right training. Capsulars like you can become archaeologists, too. You have the ability to retrieve valuable items from ancient ruins in space without ever leaving your ship. To recover items in this way, you will need to train to use the Relic Analyzer module. This advanced piece of equipment allows a pilot to quickly sift through ruins and recover anything of value. When you're ready to continue, use the gate to move to the final pocket, a gas site. So, folks, we are in Relic area now, pocket, and... Not much here, but these look like a ship and like a structure of some kind, and who knows what that is. I think that's coral. Let's find out. It's coral from Walking Dead. Yeah, coral rock formation. Like I did earlier. Ripped superstructure. The ripped mine. Abandoned drill. Hmm, I wonder if they're drilling the coral. And ghost ship. <gasps> I wonder if it's haunted. Ah. Alright, let's accelerate through to the guest site. Drive active. Let's see if you can catch the pun later that they have on the gas train one. Not now, but later. This area represents what a gas site might look like. Gas signatures are found when your scanners detect an area where gas clouds have collected into harvestable clusters. I should perhaps point out at this point that the clouds found in these areas are used to make drugs known as boosters. <gasps> oh no, crack. Not all of them are illegal, of course. Oh, legalized crack, okay. But the entire booster industry is quite shady. The type of boosters you can make is determined by... Oh, we're getting notified by a GM. And this is good. You'll find in this video down at the bottom if you haven't played it yet. 
and you're just considering it there's gonna be a link down below and it's a referral link and if you accept it then and go to it and sign up you'll get 1 million SP and when you get a million SP that's about two weeks maybe two and a half weeks of training time and um, that'll kick you a good kickstart into the future on your training okay the type of boosters you can make determined by the type of clouds you find there are two broad types of clouds to find uh, mycosurin and cytosurin cytosurin uh, of those two cloud types, there are eight individual. Oh, here I am. Okay, sorry. Let me talk to the GM real quick. This is interesting. They want to know if there's anything. And this is something I really, really, really like about CC. P. Who is this? GM Mystic Box. Um, the makers of this EVE Online, is it CCP or CCCP? Either way, um, they really, they take time, an actual GM to contact you when they see you're a new player. And they'll ask, you know, do you need help? Do you have any questions? Can I offer you some links? And they do it now. I don't know how long they'll be doing it, but they'll give you a nice little gift as a welcome, which is very cool. But I just told him I didn't need no help, but he'll offer some, or she will offer some uh, assistance anyways. Oh. Oh, wow. It's the right place. Hey, thank you. You as well. Okay, so basically there's two types of gas. Of those, there's several flavors. A variety, if you will. Maybe it's like the Baskin Robbins of gas and drugs. Who knows? This is the last area you'll be made. Uh, this is the last area. You made it through the training complex. Hopefully, from all of this, you'll learn a few things. You should report back to your agent. Okay, let's take a look at the. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, once again, I um, well, less of course, that's a cloud we're in. I guess that could be clouds. I don't know. Yeah, there they are. There's the clouds. Okay. All right, so there's the clouds. You can see them there, different colors. Let's see. Uh, nothing there to click on, so I couldn't tell you more. But that's basically what they'll look like, and you'll have a little ship which they're likely to give me one I don't know that kind of went a little bit different than usual um, but that ship can fit uh, gas harvesting equipment on it and it's a little expensive to learn it granted I mean but save your money if you want to get into gas harvesting um, hit the dock key because you're now completed um, and from what I understand you could earn a lot of money by harvesting gas I, can also, I also understand if you find the right relics and data them signatures and hunt them down and get stuff from them, you can make some significant money too. Good old station. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, this will complete number two. I think it's a zero three that we're on. Right, so this is completion two. We got the Navitas, we're getting 117,000 ISK reward and 136,000 ISK care for completing it in a timely manner. Yay, now let's request. All right, now it's getting down to it. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to hunt down a proof of discovery for um, data site. Now I want to show you something when we go out here and do this. Um, we're going to hunt them all down to begin with. We're going to hunt down gas, relic, and data site before we even go and do any of it. Um, that way, you don't have to hunt them down each time you come out. It took me a bit to learn that, but so let's accept that. 
And did they give us a new ship yet? I'm just in the beaters. Yeah, I'm just in the beaters. All right, so let's open up your cargo. Let's put it in the item hanger. Let's attach it to our ship. Fit to active ship. Right click. Fit to active ship. Right click. Fit to active ship. Right click. Left click on fit to active ship. And just to show you, if you hit fittings or Alt F, you bring up your ship. You'll see your probe launcher, and you'll see your civilian relic and the civilian data. I wonder if there's already it. something in that location. I don't location. know why. It's being weird. All right. Now, of course, scan energy is bring them over and drop them on your probe launcher, and you're ready to go. So first one we want to do is the data site. So we accepted the quest, we got everything loaded, and let's undock. But we're going to do, like I said, the data site, we're going to do the relic site, and we're going to do the gas site. So next time, and we're going to save those locations, and we'll go get our data site, and then we'll do, uh, go back, turn it in, get the quest, and go out and just right click and go to the uh, location. Now if you, I want to show you something, if you hit L, it's going to bring up a little thing that says location. Just set it somewhere on your screen. It doesn't matter because, I mean, you'll adjust your stuff the way you like it in the future. All right, now I showed you, uh, let's see, uh, Alt P. All right, Alt P shows the system and it's going to show your probes and it's going to show the scan results. So let's launch probes. And there we go. Let's kick these up to 32, and you see it's going to cover the whole system by a massive amount, and let's just analyze. Now let's get a reading, and we're going to look again for data and relic and gas. First one to hit the mark is data though, I hope, so we get that over with. Alright, so... And there's a mail. Now let me show you. Uh, if they do it when you get it, that's awesome. And I sent an email to confirm. Say, hey, we talked to you. But now look, they gave uh, venture gone to venture skin. They gave a venture. They gave survey scanners, scan resolution planner, salvager, relic. See, we got the civilian one, which is crud. But now you're getting the level one ones, uh, relic analyzer. We got nanofiber internal structures. We got minor two of them, medium shield extenders. We got an Imicus, which is a scan ship. Uh, the data analyzer, the core probes. We got 16 of them now. Uh, core probe launcher. You get a micro warp drive and an afterburner. And that's just for pretty much playing for them, with them. All right, so we want data. Now, if you look, you're going to see percentages of how close you got them. Plus, you can just look at the lines. Uh, data that's to be about the biggest best one. That's 34.7 percent. If you click it, then you're gonna see. Well, let's take this uh, down here. Let's go ahead and cut it halfway. About that's 4 AU. AU is an astronom astronomical unit. I learned earlier today, and that's roughly the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So 4 AU away, or where these right here, the probes. From here to here, the perimeter of them is 4 AU, the equivalent of four times from the Earth to the Sun, or two trips, Earth to Sun, back to Earth, back to Sun, back to Earth. So it's pretty kind of cool, the science of EVE Online, and how big everything actually is. All right, so we shrunk the ball, analyze it again. Hopefully we'll get a better increase, and if that's the case, we'll center them again. What you want to do is, I'm sorry I should have said that, you want to put your probes right there in the center. The main probe, put it right in the center, and both from above and both from the bottom. Hey, look at that, we got data automatically. So, you want to take that, we're going to go ahead and warp to it. This is our data site. Now, we want to look for a relic. There's a good relic, 94%. Let's go ahead and get that. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the best one, 94%. So take that, like I said, now you see where the relic plant site is, possibly. All right, we're looking at the side view now. We're going to flip it over, and from above, we're going to move it over. And put it right in the center. And then double check by clicking this button down here. And this is the side view. All right, 
She said, oh, you found the data site. Now I'll get into it. Um, what's this say? Normally, you could expect to find all kinds of useful resources inside a hacking container. All that relates to the process known as invention, a research method used to produce advanced equipment and vessels known as the Tech 2 category. Tech 2 variants of modules and ships are often far more uh, powerful, and many Tech 2 ships possess unique abilities. The skill books you would need to train in order to invent can be found in these sites, as can the material required to begin research for invention. Data sites are particularly valuable. So, invention and making Tech 2 uh, data sites, remember that. Okay, so on the side we're good, from above we're good. And we're on the 94% relic. Let's do it again, analyze it. You can also hit V, I think it is. We'll see. Gotta have a sip of my coffee. Pardon me. And we opened in our relic. So right click. And now I want you to put save location. Just leave it there. It's alright. But now I want to show you that thing we pushed L for. It's right there. So next we need gas. What's it? Yeah, let's right click. This our left click disappear. Gas site, gas training site, 81%. That's the biggest one. So let's take it and move it over there. Put it in the middle. Go down here, click the side view. Now you see it's got to come down a little bit. So get it positioned just right, left click, and come down a little bit. Go back to top view. It's good enough, I think. Let's try this. Let's go ahead and bring it down even more so it's 1 AU. I don't know if that's going to mess it up or not. Okay, for scan probes, you hit B. Let's try that. To analyze, and there it goes. Letter B. Other videos in the series, I'm going to do security. I'll, there's usually 10 missions per each of the other ones. So I'll probably do uh, maybe a couple missions each video. All right, well, we've got the tra uh, gas training site. So right click. Save location, submit. Now you want to bring your probes back in because you definitely don't want to lose them. So right here, recover active probes, and boom. And back inside, let's double check. And there they are. You can right click, stack, and it's done. All right, so now you're at the data training site. You want to target the, the container. You'll have to do the same thing on any container for a data site. And the data site is within 5,000 kilometers. So you can, I mean, there, stay within a distance of 1,000. <clears> so we could just click that. He'll move forward. And when he hits 5,000, click your uh, civilian data analyzer. And there he goes. So we're doing it. All right, now this, you've got to find the core and defeat the core. You're going to probably come into antivirus walls as well. And if so, you got to get rid of them. So let's go. First click, four away. So that means the core is going to be four away from that one. One, two, three, four, there or there. One, two, nope. One, two, three. And I'm going to say it's going to be probably right there. That would be my guess. Three, two, one. Oh, firewall. Oh. There it is. That was close. So now you just gotta click it. Other times you'll, I haven't done much of this, but you'll get like tools and stuff you could use to get, uh, to not lose as much in this area. Cause if you go to zero, you lost and you gotta try it again. Look at that. You may lose, no? Nope. All right, so now hit open cargo and there's your proof of discovery. And it's done. Right on, good job. Hit dock. Turn it in. We'll pick up the next one for the relic site, in which we already got the location. See, this is the mail that they sent me. Let's see if it's anything worth reading to you. Geomistic. They're a really good group of people here. And the community in this game is awesome. Yeah, you got some weirdos and some usual people who 
get off to being requested. bullies and stuff, but 99.9% of people in EVE Online are very cool people. Very helpful. Okay, so let's double click, left click in. Uh, hey, guess what? Puddle lot? We're done. And we got some money. Alright, so now let's get another offer from him and let's clear the mail out real quick. And he wants us to get a proof of discovery for a relic site. Oh, no way. Okay, so I wish we would have known. We would have just scanned it down. We're out there. You get 96,000 is plus a bonus of 131,000 is if you complete it within six hours. Guess what, people? It's going to be close, except undock. Now, remember, the key is L for your location, save locations. And I always, when on my other one, since I kind of like got involved in PvP and stuff, I kind of keep that locked in with uh, the probe. All this stuff is reduced. I just have it open so we can see things in this issue. So we want relic. Go to relic, right click, warp to to zero. Relic site. This okay. is a training area for capsulators okay. studying how to scan down relic signatures. Once the area is discovered, capsulators must progress through the course by recovering the proof of discovery document from the container. A civilian medical relic analyzer will be required to complete the course. Oh no. Oh, good thing we got the civilian relic analyzer. Yes. <sighs> Let me shrink these because these really annoy me. Alright, so you're now inside the relic site training area. Ahead of you, you should see a training container. You'll need to use your civilian relic analyzer to access its contents. As you approach the container, I will offer you further information on what you should normally what you could normally find. You need to recover the proof of discovery document and complete the mission. To complete the mission. So again, left click, hold it down, go down to target, target. You could also do control and click to do it. Let's go ahead and hit the stay within range. Keep at range 1000. I believe the relic is 5000. And while we're here, you can right click the relic training site and remove it. I know they got to remove somewhere. Yeah, right there. Remove. Do you really want to remove it? Yes, we do. So you'll see that leads us to the gas trains. And again, watch that little pun they got. <clears throat> okay, relic, when you click it at 5000. <clears throat> meters are 5k and which we're at seven three six nine six 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 two it's gonna be same thing as like the data analyzer this is a relic container in order to access the contents you need to use the civilian relic analyzer well yes you said that five times oops normally you could expect to find all kinds of useful resources inside most of the resources inside most of the resources discovered when analyzing relate to the production of Special equipment known as rigs. The skill books you would need to train in order to produce rigs can be found in those sites. As can the material and blueprints actually required to make the physical products for rigs. For rig producers, relic sites are particularly valuable. I thought it'd be cool if they actually had like real relics and stuff like that. Okay, let's do this. You can discover relics that would be worth Okay, this is your starting point. It's already filled in, so click. And it's going to be four. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But it's going to be four both ways. So this should be, if this is three and that's three, then we know it's going to be up here. Check. Nope. Four. Okay, so that was four, that's four, so that means it's going to be going this way, I'm pretty sure. And so that's one, four, three, two. So that was a two, that's a two. One, two. Nope, one. So it's going to be up there probably. There it is. And we got it. So hit open cargo. Loot on. Yeah. And hit dock. Warp drive active.
YouTube, which you're watching this, so I don't need to tell you, but if you ever see this chat, um, you can click on it and take it to YouTube. But it's TPG within the brackets, Kankles, K N K L E S. I'm surprised I didn't spell it differently. I know Talking it's with a C, requested. but I think it would be like E L S or something. Kankles, Kankles, Kankles. Kankles. Request Kankles. Accepted. <laughs> Just had to spell it different to be different. Alright, so let's go to him and go, hey, you know what, I had it done in less than 6 hours, give me my 131 bonus, 131,000 bonuses, request. Now here it is, the site you all have been waiting for, gas site scanning. This is an important mission which will have significant impact on your faction standing. The following items will be granted to you when the mission is accepted. One gas pass key isn't that awesome and when you're done you'll get an amicus the scanning ship yay and as a bonus you'll get 113,000 isk if you do it within the next six hours as we know a little secret we're going to do it for six hours but in order to complete this you got to have the gas pass key in your cargo you get it now mm -hmm. <sighs> let's see so we we'll go to the inventory in our item hanger, you see the gas pass key. Bring it, drop it in your cargo hold, and in order to check that, we can right click on the ship, open cargo hold, and there it is, gas pass. We see that we accepted it. Don't ever leave without the, without the key, because you won't get through, and it sucks to come back, especially when you're in like a hurry. All right. So, again, it's the letter L on your keyboard. If you exit out, just hit L again, and your safe space is there. Right click, warp to location within zero. Warp drive active. Yay! Now the gas pass key, you just gotta get there and get it. What is that mobile depot? Hmm. Can I go take it? Yeah, the gas pass key allows you to use the um, the gate. What are you saying? I got my card for now. Well, of course, I just put it in there, silly. You've almost done, pilot. You're almost done. This is the last site. I'm glad to see you made it this far. You're now inside the gas site training area. Ahead of you, you should see another acceleration gate. To access the second room, you will need to have the pass key also known as the gas pass key that your agent place inside inside your item hanger oh wow glad we didn't forget that thank you advisor warp drive active see this just this this exploration quest line alone i didn't do no starter missions the basic here's how you move your ship stuff and little combat and here's a gun didn't do any of those but for just this Exploration quest line of five missions. I got 831,000. Yeah, it's got two ships. I'm uh, going to have two ships. And I'm going to have more than that because I can go turn in. We'll get the glaring total of the exploration. Excellent work. Now, don't forget to recover the proof of discovery. Gas document from the container. They will prove you made it in. Uh, they will prove you made it here. If someone else has already made it to this site before then, then you may not be able to see the document. Just close the door and magically won't appear in a few seconds. So let's go ahead and highlight that and open cargo. And looped. Close. Verify. Close. Doc. Warp drive we'll get to calculations out of this mission of what we get for doing the five exploration missions. I do want to thank you for watching. Again, I'm Kankles with Two Penguins Gaming. Twitter is at penguins underscore two. Uh, Facebook Gaming, you could do at sign, just go to Facebook and in the search, do at TPG Kankles, K A N K L E S. 
and Twitch. Look for Kankles TPG on Twitch. I'll be doing a lot of EVE Online streaming, and me and my wife be doing uh, request accepted. Night of the Dead. Uh, also, some friends of ours and my wife and I will be doing Seven Days to Die streaming. Please, if you found this useful, hit like, leave a comment. I'm open for constructive criticism. Complete it. All right, so um, I'd just like to hear from you and hit subscribe to YouTube and hit the bell icon to be notified with the other ones. We'll be doing missions levels one through four and beyond. Uh, how to, so using the uh, Eve Survival Guide off their webpage. And just give an example right before your eyes. We'll also be doing some tactics and eventually we'll be doing some PvP videos as well. All right, so what do we get from this whole session? And we're not going to include the special from uh, our game providers here. We got the Amicus. We got our little Novitas, which the Novitas is also has. Uh, probe Launcher has the civilian data and civilian relic. So we got those. And like I said, we got the Amicus. Let's see what they're uh, what they're valued out. View market details. They sell for 400k onward. Oh, there's one two jumps away 300k all right so say 300k so let's go to our wallet our wallet tells us we have 935,690 935,690 isk and that's from the five missions of the exploration career all right folks it's the Exploration Career Series, Mission 1 through 5. I am Kankles with 2 Penguins Gaming. And uh, I hope you will continue to look for our future videos. Uh, again, Facebook Gaming at TPG Kankles. Twitter at Penguins underscore 2. You all have a great day. Thank you for spending the last 47 minutes with me.